Hello everyone, welcome to Infinite Realms. I just want to take a moment to say I've noticed that the views are going up and uh, the subscribers are going up. Thanks a lot, glad you're enjoying what I'm doing. Sometimes, maybe not. Maybe you're complaining, I don't know. Either way, um, hey, hang out. So, been able to uh, have a bit of a break from the hauls because I finally got caught up on my haul videos. And uh, so this one, it inadvertently has a theme. <laughs> it is what I'm calling now the yellow uh, haul. Almost yellow and red, except for the first thing on the haul is what breaks it up. It is C-3PO. Now, okay, so this C-3PO is not the best C-3PO out on the market. But keep in mind what I'm doing is I am doing a display for my Star Wars shelf a black series of the main cast so that's Luke, Leia, Han, the droids, Darth Vader, Boba Fett, Yoda, etc. And so honestly I was thinking you know I could put a statue there and it'll work and this one literally just came out and it's already on sale so <laughs> I said why not it's a decent likeness it's a pretty good likeness over and I know, I know that there are better articulated C-3PO's out there, but it's not like C-3PO is Spider-Man or Shang-Chi. So I don't need a ton of articulation. It's not, it's not like anywhere in the movies does he move around a lot. But as far as likenesses goes, this is a pretty good one for Goldenrod, especially with the original trilogy aesthetic. Uh, really looks like he was taken right out of Star Wars. And like I said, I could put a statue up there and it'll work. So, I'm not as worried with the droids necessarily. I'm not going to do a lot of posing with either R2 or 3PO. So, I mean, as an action figure, I mean, knowing that there's better out there, uh, yeah, I would only give him about three stars. If he's just a display piece, I don't see the problem. So, that's kind of where I'm going with that. And just a little bit of comparison. And I mean, you can judge likeness for yourself. I mean, I think it's a dead spot on likeness. The wires, the silver leg, everything. Looks like it came out of the first half of A New Hope. So, that's my take on it. So, next up, I have Firestorm. Uh, <laughs> uh, this one was a deal. Um, now, I will be up front. He's a little flawed. Uh, first off, he only has one of those uh, Adam things around his hand um, I do plan to get both versions of Firestorm so hopefully I'll get the uh, I'll get another one of the uh, Adam things around the hand and then I'll have two so yeah I'm not too worried about that uh, the other one is his head's a little loose um, I knew that up front I knew that's why I got him cheap and I was okay with that I mean it's uh, you know I'm gonna do a little drop of crazy glue in there and just tighten it up a little bit uh, old school trick that kind of works um, as far as the figure go I mean I was surprised because a lot of the DC classics are remolds of about two or there's about two or three molds but this one looks vastly different it's obvious those uh, there's designs in the torso there which are part of the uh, symbol and uh, the sleeves look very different from any other DC classics I've seen I do like it. Um, Firestorm's not my favorite character, but I do like Firestorm. And I do really appreciate the translucentness of the uh, flames on the head. For that, for all those, I would give it four stars. It's uh, a decent enough figure. And I'll, you know, I'll bend a little on that. I might have given it three and a half, but I'll give it four this time. A pretty decent figure. Uh, again it's DC Universe Classics so there is a little bit of a curve on that okay so now some stuff I'm excited about Reverse Flash I had this character for literally a minute I got this figure got him out of the box and that's when the dark times fell and he was in the box that got swiped and sold off and I was so mad I got maybe a few minutes with this figure and I went to pack him away 
and then he was gone. So I was really upset about that. You know, it's like you finally get something and then it gets taken away from you. Long time ago. I won't draw on it too much. But got him back and I got to look at him now. And it barely shows up on camera, but it looks like there's a wash on the arms and the legs that makes the them a little darker. And I don't know if maybe the previous owner was trying to do something here or if that's dirt or what happened, but it is a bit odd. I don't remember it from the other figure, but my God, that was so long ago and I only saw it for a few moments. I mean, that could have got past me very easily. I'm not sure if that's normal for the figure or not. It could be some discoloration from age. Who knows? Um, but either way, overall, I mean, he looks good. Don't get me wrong. And... I'm really happy to have him back and of course you know it's the reverse flash what are we gonna do let's put him in a running pose how original I ain't gotta laugh at myself sometimes you know and again just really like the figure and I did notice there was some shading on the torso there um, so maybe it is wash I don't know I'm really scratching my head on that And just for some little oddball comparison, here is uh, the reverse flash with the flash and the blue flash. I thought that would be a pretty good comparison. Compare the flashes, right? So, where what would I rank this? I, I'd give him right at four stars. I think he's a cool figure and a cool character. So next is one I was kind of excited about, and I can see a lot of people not being excited about. This is the first appearance of Dead Daredevil. Um, I like this because I actually owned the second to the last appearance of this costume, and I've always made the joke, this is a costume only a blind man could love. <laughs> and uh, it, 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 there's a, I don't want to say nostalgia to it, but there is a, oddballness to it that I really like and I've always really wanted to get the original Daredevil costume in Marvel Legends form so I finally did now regular Daredevil in his red costume in the aftermarket is painful to look at I'm sure I'll probably get it now the one thing missing from this figure that was important was the swappable head for Matt Murdock uh, I can get that in another figure so I'm not going to worry too much So I really have always loved this costume in a, in, a, in a laughable sort of way, in a joke sort of way. So obviously to me, this is going to rank a little higher than it would for most people. I'm going to give it four and a half stars. I think it's good. You may not, but hey, that's me. Uh, it's my toy collection. Blah, blah, blah. I'll take my toys and go home. And finally, who knew red and yellow worked so well together? Well, let me tell you something, brother. This is the one, the only, the immortal Hulk Hogan. And yeah, Hulk's uh, had a few issues over the years, and we, I won't lie about it, but you know, he was still a big part of my childhood, a big part of wrestling for me, so I had to at least get one version of Hulk Hogan. I mean, it's just kind of one of those things. And, you know, Hulk did not have the best finisher in the world. But I think he's a cool figure. And I, I do like this figure. I like it a lot. That head sculpt looks spot on. That's pretty really surprising because it seems like it's very hit and miss with uh, Mattel on some of these. And there's a lot of accessories with this figure. Um, a t-shirt that tears off. Um, the weight belt. The feather boas. Um, if I had to knock this figure, the one thing I would say is the all the stuff gets in the way, and uh, like when you put it all together, and I was posing him, he kept knocking his bandana into his glasses, and his glasses kept falling off. So yeah, a lot going on with the figure.
So here we go with some comparisons. Um, you know, here you have the Hulkster with Iron Man, Ric Flair, and Baron Zemo. And he towers over Zemo, and I think he should. So here is the Hulk with the leader. Maybe I'm a little confused. Here's Hulk with Hulkbuster. And here's Hulk with Hulk. Do you not hear real American in the background when you look at that? Come on. Okay, so I think this is a great figure. I'm going four and a half stars. I just think it's pretty... I think it's one of the best Mattel figures I've done yet. And again, another really great addition to my collection. So end of the day, the yellow uh, haul... I think looks pretty good I mean I got some fun stuff in here and, it, and that's the whole point of toy collecting fun and if that's it I have one so that'll wrap it up for another edition of infinite realms toy haul and review uh, don't forget to like and subscribe